Hello everyone and welcome to Eden's Guardian, the demo look at the game. It's a demo. I'm change the volume a little bit there. Okay, you know what? Let's just jump into it. So it's a game and it's a Metroidvania. I like Metroidvanias. Uh, the pixel art looked amazing. So it's, yeah, I was super interested in the game. I uh, wanted to give it a shot. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, so far the platforming is pretty good. Oh, I just stabbed the statue in the boobies. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, looks like we can pull the sword back. Interesting. I'm not sure what that did, but... Press X to cut down your foes. Attack repeatedly to unleash powerful combos. Uh, cool. Turned into, like, some kind of, like... I don't know, spooge or something? Like, I don't know, like some kind of liquid stuff. Uh, he's a member of the Atkins diet. A thing, I've heard. Like the waterfall. It's very, very cool looking so far. The graphics are really nice. Really, really well done pixel art. I've gone through several rooms. And it actually looks like I'm in, you know, some, some new locations. Like, it looks like I'm actually traversing some kind of big cave. Cannot stab these guys. Oh. Now, what do we get? We got some uh, stuff. Press RB once to throw the sword and press it again once it reaches its objective to teleport. I, think, I feel like I'm probably going to have to be... Oh yeah, it, it's going to have to hit something. can check our map so I mean it seems like relatively standard fanfare of what you would expect for a game like this another cool location all right all right oh, it looks really nice I like what I'm seeing here I mean it is it's definitely a good looking game uh, so you cannot dash through him, which I guess makes sense. There's not a lot of feedback when you hit the enemies. Uh, they just kind of take it. Um, which makes it a little bit hard to kind of figure out when they're going to attack. Uh, and it doesn't seem to be like any kind of Dodging, or not dodging, but blocking that I that I can see. I feel like I'm in a spot where I'm potentially going to die because I I need some help. That looks like it should be something, I, but I guess it isn't. Well, now we know how to heal. A pretty cool mechanic. I don't think I've seen something like that before. 
But one thing I am not a big fan of is all these locked doors. Like, what? Why is this place so... I don't know, locked down? ever get like another attack or something. Throw the sword. Yeah, oh, I'm already throwing the sword. Uh, I feel like that way is not necessarily the way that I want to go because I just went this way. Yeah, whatever. We'll go this way. We'll figure it out. I have no idea where we're going or what we're doing. Just uh, visiting this place and having a good time. Wish I knew where the door opened. I think that liquid is new? I don't know. God, I have like just the worst, worst case of like I don't remember anything. And I just like, I prepared a bunch of spaghetti sauce, uh, you know, homemade spaghetti sauce. It's not ready yet. I was just chopping all the vegetables. Uh, but the problem is. There's onions in it, and I cut the onions, and it's just like all up in my eyes, so they're burning. I guess I'll go to the right and see if I can figure out something. Uh, I don't know. So this game, so far from what I can tell, I mean, pixel art-wise, it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but it's running into one of the same problems that any game that is a platformer that has combat runs into, and that is, why am I fighting anybody? What is even the point? Uh, and so far, there there is no point in combat, because I, I get nothing out of it. Uh, aside from, you know, it looking pretty cool, there's... There's no incentive to, to actually fight anyone. I might as well just avoid everything. Um, unless something happens to change that. I mean, it just... It just makes more sense. I mean, the only incentive I have to fight enemies is because I need to get health, but uh, if I don't fight enemies, I probably won't need health. That's pretty cool, I will admit. I figured as much. Can't touch us. That's a pretty cool, like, way of, like, traversing, and I think that's pretty cool, but, yeah, it's still... I don't know. It doesn't do, like, a whole bunch. Hopefully this is opened up so we can go down or whatever, because I don't, I don't know where we're going. Hooray! Down into the pits we go. Left or right? Eh, let's go left. Damn. 
I thought I might be able to do the whole teleportation thing. As well. Oh, not that way. I like that the sword, you know, comes back relatively easy. It's kind of like Captain America's shield. Cool, I, I don't know where to go. Can I break this? Uh, can I throw the rock? Are they sorted? I cannot. Um. That door is locked. I feel like I'm gonna, this is what I have to do. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting, Konzam. You have the strength enough to use the nail sword on any wall and climb them. It's kind of weird that we're, like, progressing in the way we are, because uh, to an extent it feels like I sh You know, it's like, well, nothing's really changed. How did I just suddenly figure out how to do stuff? It's almost like I got a manual that telling me what to do. It's like, oh, hey, um, I have a great idea for you. Rise again, yes. Please rise again at the place that we or whatever we'll see what happens do I get like my stuff back did I actually have anything that's right I don't think I did have anything yeah I'm just gonna run through and just see how much of the game we can play without doing any combat whatsoever it's not that the combat isn't satisfying it just feels like there's no real point in it I mean, that's, that's like the problem, it's just... There needs to be some stakes. That's, that's going to be annoying. Yep. Well. Seriously? Come on and just jump over to the thing that you're supposed to. Supposed to. Let's rise again. This I might not make it super far. This, I, But I feel as though I might uh, I might still put this... Even if I don't make it any, any, you know, much further, I may still, um, I may still make a video for this because, uh, I, you know, I wanted to make some kind of content today. Like, I don't understand this. Like, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Jump over to the wall? Uh, I can't really jump over to the wall easily. Yeah, this, this little section right here, I don't know, man. I really wanted to enjoy this game. Uh, I think it looks fantastic, like, from a graphical perspective. Like, it, the combat... The combat feels pretty fast and nice and fluid. It feels completely pointless, but it, it feels relatively nice. Um, but this little platforming section here is just... I, I hate this. Like, what is this supposed to be? Um... Is this supposed to be entertaining? Because it's 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 not entertaining. I mean, I, I understand what I need to do here, but gosh, this is just a, an exercise in bout near futility.
Uh, and you know, then somebody will come by and say like, well, you know, just just be better at it, you know? And it's like, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I, that's exactly what the problem is. If I was better at it, we wouldn't have this issue. But it's just annoying. I mean, I don't like to uh, be in a situation where I can only make uh, no mistakes, basically. It's just it's just an infuriating concept to me. I mean, I play games to have a fun time and not struggle with uh, the decisions that I make in life. But there we go. We've 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 done it. We've made it past that spot that was like super, you know, irritating and upsetting and, and whatnot. But and this is why, like, there's certain types of um, Metroidvanias that I don't really ever cover. Like, even though I'm like super interested in them, because I get frustrated with the platforming or the combat. Are you serious? That's it. You put me through all of that. You put me through that insane little unrewarding platforming section just to tell me the demo is over. What? Oh my gosh. Don't do this. Don't do this to people. Oh my gosh. Come on. Well, there you go. Eden's Guardian. I mean, I'm... I'm intrigued. I... I like it, but I don't like it. Like, I think the graphics are nice. The, the platforming up until that little section were really nice. Combat feels absolutely fruitless. Um, I know it's relatively early in development if by, by looking at this 0 .0, 0 0.1.0. So, I mean, it's it's early in development. A lot of things are going to change, I hope. Um, but yeah, as it is right now, like it, I saw zero reason to engage in any sort of combat. And it seems like combat's going to play kind of an important part of the game, so hopefully something changes with that. But uh, the link is in the description if you want to try it. I mean, if you like Metroidvanias, I think it's probably worth a shot, at least to try it and see how you like it. Um, mixed emotions for me. Like, I'm interested in seeing where this goes, but I, I'm not real sure. Thanks for watching.